Here's a fun and fascinating math problem that I'm so excited to share with you. What is the remainder when 67 factorial is divided by 71? Let's just dive into it. So it's going to be a beautiful trick and you're going to love this trick. So we're going to multiply 67 factorial times 68 times 69 times 70. Okay, first of all, we're going to do that product. Now that product, of course, is just going to equal to 70 factorial. Remember, 67 factorial is a product of all the numbers 1, 2, 3, up to 67. So we get 70 factorial there. Now we're going to do modular arithmetic. So we're going to look at everything modulo 71. Okay, so how is this going to work? So when you take something modulo 71, what that means is you're dividing by 71 and taking the remainder. Okay, so it helps us to manipulate expressions. You're going to see shortly how that works. First of all, 68 times 69 times 70, modulo 71, what happens is that 68 has a remainder of minus 3. 69 has a remainder of minus 2 and 70 has a remainder of minus 1. So a quick way to find the remainder of this product divided by 71 is just to write it in that way. This is going to be congruent, this is three signs, it's going to be congruent to minus 3 times minus 2 times minus 1 mod 71, and that's going to be congruent to minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 1 is minus 6, so that's going to be congruent to minus 6 mod 71, and of course minus 6 mod 71 is just going to equal to mod 71, 65. Okay, so it's 65 mod 71. Okay, so that gives you a quick idea how we just found the remainder when we divide that, divided that product by 71 and got 65. That's the power of modular arithmetic. So how are we going to use this information to find 67 factorial mod 71? Now here's a beautiful trick and just bear with me, okay, for just a minute or so. 70 factorial seems like it's really complicated mod 71. It's actually congruent to minus 1 mod 71. Its remainder when you divide by 71 is 70 or negative 1. And that's really crazy, that needs to be explained, but let's just accept this for just 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds we accept this, what does that mean? 67 factorial times 68 times 69 times 70, so 67 factorial times that product, 68, 69, 70, is just minus 6. So 67 factorial times minus 6 is going to be congruent to minus 1 mod 71. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Let's call this 67 factorial x. Okay, so now we call this x. So now we want to know minus 6x is going to be congruent to minus 1 mod 71. But now if we just multiply both sides by negative 1, which you can do, you know, it's just the usual arithmetic laws apply. So then you're just going to get that 6x is going to be congruent to 1 mod 71. So what number do I have to multiply by 6 to get a remainder of 1 when I divide by 71? That number is going to be, can you just pause it and let me know? It's going to be 12. 6 times 12 is 72, which is a remainder of 1 when you divide by 71. So therefore, the answer to this problem is going to be 12. Simple as that. But why is it true that 70 factorial is congruent to minus 1 7, mod 71? Check out this video. It's going to pop up on your screen. It's Wilson's theorem. It's a very beautiful theorem in number theory. And this problem is exactly the motivation you need to master the intuition behind that proof. You're going to love that video. Also, a huge thank you so much to Alex, Nathan, and Trang for their ongoing support on Patreon. Please consider checking out the Patreon link in the description or clicking the join button for a YouTube channel membership.